Yo, what's good everybody? Hope y'all doing well. And today we have a very special, brand new, innovative, groundbreaking, totally original video idea that I totally came up with myself that nobody has ever done before. And that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about anime. But not just any anime. Oh, not just any anime. New anime. Obviously, that is sarcasm, but for real, guys, today we're going to be talking about some new anime coming out in the fall of 2020 of this year, man. I know a lot of people uh, do this type of video. I know uh, Joey or the Anime Man, I know he does that. I know Chibi Reviews, I know he does that. Pro you know what? Probably anybody that watches anime does this type of video in their lifetime. So you know what? You know, I like anime. I talk about it here on the channel. So you know what? I want to do it too, man. I should be allowed to do it too. But so you know what? Today I decided, you know what? I'm running out of video ideas. Might as well do this one. Okay, but for real, we're being serious here. I actually really wanted to do this type of video for a while now. You know, I feel like I do talk about anime a lot on the channel. But usually it's in a reactionary format. You know, I, I do the reaction videos, man. Y'all love them. And I really do appreciate that. But you know, I do... A lot of other videos as well obviously you know like I'm not just a strictly reaction channel because obviously you know you guys have seen it like I post Mugen I'll talk about any news that goes on in the anime community I talk about just any random thing that I want to think about you know like it's not just strictly oh I just react to stuff you know like I'm I do a bunch of stuff I do variety stuff man but you know I love talking about anime I love being here for the community man so I feel like I never really get to talk about what I'm actually watching for new seasons because usually you guys only see like one or two series that i would react to or talk about like being like for example last season i reacted to got a high school and re-zero right now and you know a little bit of fire force too so you guys only saw like three series from me but in reality i was watching a bunch of other stuff so you know i feel like this video you know you guys get to see exactly what i'm gonna be watching what i'm gonna be reacting to maybe and you know exactly what i like about this new anime season so you know what let's just get started first of all we have the demon slayer movie coming out now i believe the 25 days right here the movie doesn't really come out in 25 days for us at least it comes out in japan uh, I believe it come the Demon Slayer movie comes out in 2021 for us, so like, this is totally wrong, I mean, I, this has nothing to do with the fall anime, but I am excited to see the Demon Slayer movie, like, bro, like, I wish, I wish I could have had all my episodes, rec uh, all my videos recorded for, like, uh, when I reacted to Demon Slayer uh little you know way, way back when but you know it is what it is it happens man but trust me i'm excited i'll probably give my review like i did for the my hero academia movie for this um and then yeah y'all can see my opinions on that but yeah super excited for that when that comes out you know next year for us so next we have a bunch of uh you know like other seasons so we have high q um i'm gonna keep her i don't even know what season this is to the top because in high q i'm on season two for high q right now i know guys i know a lot of people recommend haikyuu bro like i personally i think haikyuu is the best sports anime that i've seen and i've only seen one season of it and i know a lot of people like bro you gotta you know you gotta catch up to haikyuu man it gets like super good like it, it's like it's like one of the best man like, you know it's goaded you know it has the goat status bro but you know they're just there's just a lot of anime that I have to watch man and, you know honestly with haikyuu I, I might have to just restart from the beginning if i really want to get that full experience because it's, it's been a while since i since I stopped watching it, man. It, it, it's not because it wasn't good or anything. It's just that it happens, man. Sometimes you just, like, stop watching a series because one, another one, you're watching another one and you just forget about this one. You know, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, Haikyuu is definitely something for your Haikyuu fans out there. You know, I'm excited for you guys to be able to watch that. But, you know, moving on here, uh, I believe this is Don Machi, which is the how not to pick up girls in a dungeon with Hestia with the big-ass titties, right? So this one, I'm gonna keep it real again. I've actually never, ever seen Don Machi before. Well, I lied. I've actually seen like maybe like one or two episodes of Don Machi, but like I've never actually committed to really watching the full series, man. But Don Machi is something that I feel like a lot of you guys, especially, I mean, I mean, I got, I got a lot of people talking about me saying like, yo, you gonna watch Don Machi? I'm like, I mean, uh, not, I, I just like, I just, I can't watch the season because like obviously I've never seen it, but like, I don't know, man. Maybe one day I'll start Don Machi. It's just that, I don't know. I, uh, this is going to sound like, I, I don't know, man. Like, when I just look at it, it's just like, uh, I feel like, I feel like I've just seen an anime like this before. You know, what I, you know, you know what I'm talking about, man? Like, it's not bad or anything. It's just that, I don't know, dude. Uh, Don Machi is definitely something that's kind of up in the air for me that maybe I'll check it out eventually. Honestly, knowing me, I'll probably come around to it eventually. I don't think anything is really bad. I hate... Uh, this is personally for me. I hate judging stuff based on 
just how things look like right away man like you know like obviously i'll give my opinions on it but i have to watch it firsthand you know for me to be able to give my my clear and you know unbiased judgment on something so don machi is definitely something i'll probably have to come back to later in the future and next we have um what is this um irregular this is the irregular at magic high school once again i've never seen this either um <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> all these i've actually never seen right now but like um irregular magic high school is another one where like i it hasn't it hasn't gotten recommended to me but like i've seen it you know when you're like scrolling like country or whatever it's like oh regular at magic high school it's just like i kind of always known it existed i've just never clicked on it to watch it so i mean for the irregular at magic high school by the way this I, this season it's, it's, it's been a while, hasn't it? Because I've seen a regular Magic High School, like, years ago, bro. Like, I've seen, like, you know, like, I feel like it aired, like, years ago. So, you know, for the people, the fans of this, man, congratulations that you're getting your season two of this. Maybe I'll check it out eventually. But moving on, we finally have the first anime that I'm actually, I, I know for sure that I'm gonna watch uh, this season, man. And that is Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, Jujutsu Kaisen is something that it's just been stuck in my head ever since hundreds of you guys have recommended this to me i have gotten spammed yo jujutsu kaisen man you gotta watch it once it comes out like you guys are saying that this anime is gonna be the anime of the season it's gonna be the anime of the year when it drops man you're saying that it's like i believe this is like a rising star in shonen jump right now like it has a lot of hype behind its name and you know with me with hype you know i love riding the hype train dude i i love getting excited for stuff i i'm always praying for the success of series because i love to see things succeed but that also gets my expectations a little up you, you know what i'm talking about like usually if you guys are saying yo anime of the year anime of the season new star of shonen jump right now my expectations right now i'm like okay this better slap dude like this better be some new stuff like, this better be some, like, crazy ass... By the way, MAPPA is doing this. And MAPPA, by the way, has not missed yet. MAPPA is doing God of High School right now, which I am really enjoying. And MAPPA is also doing Attack on Titan Season 4, which hopefully... Hopefully comes out this year. I, I dude, I, I don't know what it is, but you know, I think uh anime TV, the people that like do like some promo for Attack on Titan, they are teasing the hell out of it. They're like posting all this cryptic stuff. I'm like, yo, they're saying like, yo, it's watch out for this month. You might get something. It's probably not gonna be Attack on Titan season four. Honestly, what I'm thinking it's gonna be is probably a release date. Or maybe just another trailer. If it's another trailer, that'll be fine too. You know, I'll probably get my opinions on that as well. So, you know, MAPPA's doing that as well. I'm excited for that. But going back to Jujutsu Kaisen, this is an anime that, you know, it's been hyped up. And I'm excited to see what it is. I'm actually going to read exactly what it's about. Because honestly, I, I, I don't even know what it's about. Okay, so by the way, the art for this anime looks freaking insane. I, I have seen the first trailer for it though like that came out like a little while ago so i kind of have an idea i mean obviously there's gonna be fighting there's gonna be powers there's gonna be like some type of monsters and stuff like that so let's just see exactly what it's about so uh, jujutsu kaisen a boy fights for the right death all right hardship regret shame the negative feelings that humans feel become curses that lurk in our everyday lives the curses run rampant throughout the world capable of leading people to terrible misfortune and even death What's more, the curses can only be exercised by an another curse. So you destroy curses with another curse. Okay, that's kind of an interesting concept. So Itadori Yuji is a boy with tremendous physical strength. So the man's is strong, bro. Man's is kind of built. Okay, I respect that. Though he lives a completely ordinary high school life, one day to save a friend who has been attacked by curses, he eats a... F the f Wait, what? <laughs> he eats the... F okay, that took a turn. He eats the finger of the double-faced specter taking the curse into his own soul. Loki, I feel like I'm getting into spoilers right now. I don't know if I'm supposed to know this yet, but from then on, he shares one body with the double-faced specter. Guided by the most powerful of sorcerers, Gojo S Satoru, Itadori is admitted to the Tokyo Metropolitan Technical High School Sorcery, an organization that fights the curses, and thus begins the heroic tale of a boy who became a curse to exercise the curse, a life from which he can never turn back. That definitely, definitely sounds like some action shonen stuff right there dude so basically um from what i gathered uh i mean i guess like he has he shares the body with a with a demon or like a curse i guess 
And the only way for him to destroy other curses is that he has to use his own curse powers too. And he joins like a secret organization of people that destroy curses, man. Yo, that's like the, sh the yo, Shonen in a nutshell right there. So that is one thing I'm excited for. Another thing, the character designs. Character designs look dope in this. I really like how everyone looks. Uh, yo, it feels like the animation, you know, Mappa. I know, I know, I know. Jujutsu Kaisen also premiered uh, the first episode already, but it wasn't English sub. I didn't want to watch it yet. I'll wait until you know the official release, you know, so I can obviously, uh, I, obviously, I want to react to this, man. Obviously, but you know, the reaction, um, it'll probably be determined if I continue it. If you guys want to see more of it, but so yeah, if you guys, you know, are excited for me to react to Jujutsu Kaisen, definitely show that video some love whenever that comes out. But yeah, dude, uh, regardless, I'm I'm excited to watch this. Okay, so next, this one. I am actually hyped as hell for. So next, we got Higurashi. Now, whoo! Higurashi, bro. Yo, this anime and me got some history, man. Oh, God. Where do I even start, dude? Okay, if you guys don't know what Higurashi is, it's uh, basically, uh, I mean, without spoiling, it's, it's, it's a horror anime. It's a horror anime. Gore, blood, all that stuff. Scary stuff happens, right? And if you guys know me, I love scary stuff. I love horror, man. I love mystery, suspense. Those are some of my favorite genres of any medium of entertainment. Like, you guys might think, like, oh, Ivory, you love, you know, the action, the fighting. And while I do, man, trust me, I, I do. I love my God of High Schools. I love my Dragon Ball Z. But, you know, I love story stuff a lot. That's why I like JoJo a lot. I feel like JoJo's really good at uh, involving story and fighting and stuff like that. You know, I love, you know, my mystery, my horror, my suspense. You know, story again with ReZero. That's why I love ReZero so much. That's why every time you see me react, to ReZero, it's like, yo, like, I feel like I'm just immersed in this world, dude. I love mystery and suspense stuff. So, Higurashi is kind of like one of the first horror animes that, like, I've ever seen, man. Because, you know, this, if you guys don't know, this is a remake or a reimagining, I guess, of it. It has a, it has a new uh, animation studio. Uh, it has a Passion right here, or Passione, if you watch JoJo. Um, so, Pashi... I, I want to say Passione. So, uh, Passion does, I believe... What did they do? They did high school. They did the new season of High School DxD. So, definitely, Hirashi looks a lot more softer. It looks a lot more kawaii desune, if you know what I'm talking about, because the old Higurashi is definitely a lot... Da it's, it's definitely dated. You know, you can definitely tell, like, the animation is not as... I guess modern, not as HD and you know spectacular as like the new uh, anime out here, but obviously. So I, I believe it came out in what, like 2000 and. Six man six. I was six years old when that came out man uh, So yeah, I watched it, you know a while ago and man dude uh, I have a freaking I'm freaking hyped as hell for this because the reason I discovered Higurashi was I believe I saw the I don't know, man. Maybe I was watching like a freaking YouTube playlist or something like, oh, top 10 uh, scariest anime scenes or top 10 anime that'll freaking scar you for life. And it was like, oh, number four, Higurashi no Naku Koroni, when they cry. <laughs> and it was just like, yo. And it showed got the goddamn, um, it showed the uh, the nail scene. If you guys don't know what that is, don't look it up, bro. Don't, just, just don't look it up. I'm trying to save you, you know, I'm trying to save you your eyesight. Just do not look it up. If you are interested, though, in knowing what that is, I would just recommend just watching the anime because I think the anime... It's really fucking dope, because I, I believe it's a visual novel, and then now it's an anime. So, I mean, I think Higurashi is freaking dope, dude. Especially, like, the whole story and everything, and, like, how everything is... I, I don't know, I feel like it was just kind of different for, the, for that time when I was watching anime. I feel like everything that I watched back then was kind of, like, very clear-cut, so yeah. Higurashi, anyways, getting back to the remake, dude. You understand, it's scary, I'm hyped for it, you know, spooky, scary skeleton, stuff like that, man. But for the people that don't know what Higurashi is, obviously, let's read what it's about. Now, as you guys probably noticed, you know, like, this cute little, oh my god, yo, cute girls, harem stuff right now you know look at all these cute kawaii freaking anime waifus right here no no do not let this fool you this is not your average freaking slice of life show obviously man it has a horror tag on it okay so reading the synopsis new kid keichi mayabara is settling into his new home of peaceful hinamizawa village making quick friends with girls from his school he's arrived in time for the big festival of the year yo classic classic anime right there man yo uh, festival girls man you can't, can't beat it. But something about this isolated town seems off. 
and his feelings of dread continue to grow with a gnawing fear that he's right what dark secrets could this small community be hiding it's some weird stuff that goes on in this little town and you know it's our job as the viewer to experience the freaking horrors of what's gonna go on because I I'm just saying man I'm excited for this dude I am super excited just to see Higurashi in like a more modern setting dude because I know there's some scenes in here that like I am I I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like in freaking HD freaking new oh my god dude I'm excited you guys get the point man um this is another series that I probably will not be reacting to though i probably will just you know uh watch it on my own time but you know i'm excited for that man okay so the next series that i'm probably gonna check out is uh noblesse over here now i believe noblesse or i hope i'm pronouncing that right or noblesse is a it's a it's a webtoon right it's a manhwa series so you know, by the way all the manhwa that's been getting adapted so far bangers man tower of god got a high school actually i'm surprised this doesn't have god in the title and noblesse right now um i'm excited to see this this is also an anime that i'm probably not gonna react to i'm probably just gonna watch on my own time uh so far jujutsu kaisen of this season is probably gonna be the only one that i'm gonna react to if i'm being honest right now but you know i might give my opinions on other ones i, I still might make videos on them but you know right now jujutsu for sure is probably the one that i'm definitely gonna react to um so noblesse is a from manhwa and it's by production ig what does Production IG do? They do. I know they do Haikyuu and they do. Uh, they did Psychopaths, right? So they Production IG got some good animation, man. So let's read the, read the synopsis because I actually have no clue what this is about. I mean, judging by like the cover and stuff like that, it looks like this dude is like some type of vampire, man. I don't know why it's giving me some like some Sebastian from Black Butler, some some Helsing vibes right now. So let's see. For 820 years, he had slumbered with no knowledge of mankind's advancements and scientific progress. The land which he once knew has become an unfamiliar place with new technology, attitudes, and lifestyles. Upon awakening, Cadis Etrama, what the hell is this dude's name? Cadis Etrama D. Rizel. That is a, that, dude, that is a fantasy name and a half right there. God, what? <laughs> By the way, why, why do all the fantasy animes, they gotta have these like long, like outlandish names. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like it. It really adds to the character, but. <laughs> I like how they're just like, AK Rai. They're like, the, the studio's like, yo, j just call him Rai. Seeks to fit. Okay, so Rai seeks to familiarize himself with this era. He locates a loyal servant of his, Frankenstein. Oh, okay, so it kind of is in this era of like monsters. Who's currently the principal of a South Korean high school. Oh, obviously. I, I was, uh, obviously, it's a manhwa. Rai decides that the school is the perfect place to help him learn about the modern world, enrolls and begins associating with a group of good-natured students in order to blend in. But this new world is no safer than the old, and the dignified, bewildered, technologically inept Rai finds himself embroiled in adventures both ridiculous and dangerous. Wow, okay. Um very interesting very interesting uh synopsis of that i'm definitely am gonna check that out so basically he has he doesn't know anything about technology so he's a boomer man he's a boomer he's like yo i don't know how the phone works i don't know all these newfangled gadgets bro what the fuck is youtube and all that stuff so he's chilling with frankenstein at the south korean high school <laughs> This sounds weird when me. This sounds weird when I actually, when I'm talking out loud about it. But yo, I, this I'm definitely gonna check this out because by the way, like the manhwa, like they've been slapping so far. So I'm curious to see, you know, um, exactly, uh, you know what noblesse or noblesse has in store for us, dude. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna check it out. All right, guys. So the next one I'm probably gonna check out is uh, Burn the Witch here, which is made by Tite Kubo, uh, the same person that made Bleach. You guys probably know what that is. Um, and I am curious, well, this is actually a movie, but I believe they're, they're doing like a, it's like a three or four part movie or something like that, man. So I'm kind of curious to see what this anime is, man. By the way, I love female leads a lot. You know, I'm not, I'm not simping or anything like that. So, you know, don't get it twisted, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. I love my female leads, dude. So I'm curious to see what this is about, bro. So let me read the synopsis because I actually have no clue what this is about. But obviously, there, there has to be some witches in there, right? Historically, 72% of all the deaths in London are related to dragons, fantastical beings, invisible to the majority of the people. While unknown to most, some people have been standing up to these dragons. Only inhabitants of reverse London who live in the hidden reverse side of London can see the dragons. Okay. Even then, only a selected few become qualified enough as witches or wizards to make direct contact with them. The protagonists of this story are witch duo Noel and Ihashi and Nini, Nini, Nini Spangle. I like the names; they're cool. 
Uh, they are protection agents from Wingbine, an organization for dragon conservation and management. Their mission is to protect and manage the dragons within London on behalf of the people. By the way, I love that the setting is in London. I don't know why. In in anime, I love when settings are are taking place in like different areas of the world. You know. Like, I love that, man. I love, like, how not all anime is, um, just in Japan. What the fuck? Anti-anti-antivirus! But yeah, man, I, li I like the setting a lot. That's that's really cool. Uh, the character designs, by the way, Tite Kubo, uh, he, he can't miss, dude. Um, I, I like Noel and Nini. I like how they look. They look really cool. So this is definitely something I'm gonna ca check out. Uh, I don't know when the movies are, like... Like, each one's gonna release, but obviously this one says it's gonna release in 11 days, so I'm definitely gonna check that out. I might get my opinions on it. You never know. But yeah, let's move on. Dude, I saw this on Twitter. What is this? Iwa Kakeru Sports Climbing Girls? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. You know me, bruh. You know, whenever I see some muscles, some, some muscular women especially, you know I gotta pay my respects. Hold on. Do you see? Do you see this art right here, man? Do you not see those freaking gains that they got? God damn. Bro, I wish I had games like that. God damn, bros. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to check this out, you know? Okay, first of all, let's see what it's about. I mean, obviously, there's going to be some climbing, and there's going to be some women in it. The story centers around girls who compete in sports climbing, particularly climbing artificially constructed walls. First-year high school students Konomi Kasahara discovered the sport at Hanamiya Girls High School after training her mind with puzzle games during junior high school. Wow, okay, that's very simple, uh, very simple uh, synopsis. Um, wow, this is the 90th most popular of 2020. I'm glad to see where our, uh, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad to see where our endeavors lie, guys. I'm, I'm glad, man. Yo, we all, we gotta respect the gains, dude. <laughs> I actually might check this out. I'm not even capping, though. Okay, so this is another one that I kind of wanted to check out as well. It's Muno no Nana because, uh, once again, it has the horror tag and the drama tag in it. You know, I love that shit, bruh. So... Let's see what this is about. Let's read the synopsis together, man. Okay, so Muno no Nana, the art looks very, uh, who does this? What's the animation studio behind this? Studio Bridge? I mean, I actually kind of like this, uh, look, this cover art with all the colors and stuff. It looks, I like the art style, it looks cool. But let's read what the, uh, synopsis is about. So, it is the year 20XX. Earth has been assaulted by monsters known as the enemy of humanity. In order to deal with this threat, special schools compromised of teenagers, of course, with extraordinary abilities <laughs> were formed on some Danganronpa type shit, right? These people who came to be known as the talented, wow, that's actually Danganronpa right there, have abilities that defy the rules of reality. Among those superpowered individuals was an outlier, someone who was sent to one of those schools despite having no innate special abil abilities whatsoever. This is the story of our protagonist who attempts to defeat the enemies of humanity through the use of intelligence and manipulation. I'm sorry, dude. That sounds like a straight Danganronpa plot right there. So, the main character is Nana. I mean, obviously. So, she has no innate special abilities whatsoever. So, I'm curious how this is a... How this is a whore. I mean, looking at this, like, the source... Like, look... I mean, like, look at the source material, uh like art right here like it looks like there's some blood in here i mean it looks like she's i mean she crazy as fuck i mean i'm curious man you know i'm here for it i definitely want to check this out i don't know man every time anytime i see that horror tag i'm like yo oh let's see yo psychological horror supernatural thriller bruh we gotta check that shit out bruh definitely curious to see where uh this anime is gonna go you know oh yeah dude i totally forgot about the inuyasha thing that was coming out by the way i have to admit guys once again i have to admit you know i always keep it real here on the channel i have never ever seen inuyasha now i know what you guys are saying right now i know what you guys are saying first of all bear with me man i i, 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 I got i got that zoomer energy you know um, I'm young, I got that Zoomer energy, I didn't grow up watching Inuyasha, I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z and Naruto on some on some straight basic shonen shit, I know bruh, I've never seen Inuyasha before, but you know, I know it's praised as, you know, it's it's a beloved series, and you know, I'm not taking that away from anybody that, you know, uh, that thinks that, but you know, I'm excited for you guys to see uh, this new uh, series by the, ooh, Sunrise does it, Sunrise does... 
Code Geass, right? I fucking love Code Geass, by the way. I, I, I love Code Geass, man. I wish I got... Oh, I, I wish I got another season of that. But, yo, I'm excited for you guys uh, that you guys get uh, Inuyasha, man. But uh, that's just something that I've, I've never watched. I definitely should watch it. You know, if I'm an anime fan, I definitely should watch it. But... I gotta find time for that, you know? Whoa, 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 whoa. S -s Speaking of Dong and Rompa. Yo, hold on. Akudama Drive? Studio Pier- Oh. <laughs> oh, goddamn, period. Okay, uh. <laughs> that's fine, I guess. Original TV anime from Dong and Rompa's. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dong and What the fu- What is this? Long ago, the Kanto and the Kansei countries had a war that divided the world. But at the end of the war, Kansei. Kansai became a vassal to Kanto. However, Kansai's government and police force decline and crime became rampant. The criminals are called uh, called Akudama. Um, that did not give me any information whatsoever, if I'm being honest. But the fact that it's made by the freaking Dangaropa creators, yo, yo, I'm about to be on this shit. Like, white on rice, boy. I love Danganronpa, man. By the way, if you guys don't know what Danganronpa, game, uh, Danganronpa is, it's a game. It's basically a, a mystery, uh, find the killer game. It's it's really popular. as a really popular uh, fan base behind it. I love it. I'm a fan of it. There's no no. Ah! This person right here is from Danganronpa. It's Monokuma. Obviously, if you guys play Danganronpa, you know who it is. But I'm excited for this. This is definitely something I want to check out for sure. Goddamn. Sorry. Uh, by the way, I fanboyed a little bit right there. It happens. Okay, hold on. This artwork looks kind of crazy. I don't know. This dude got no eyes, so what is this about? It's an action and drama show, so let's see what this is. 100 Man No Inochi No... Yeah, okay. Um, ninth grader Yusuke Yotsuya is practical, friendless, and not active in any club, so he's, uh... He's me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, then one day, he and two female classmates are suddenly sent to another world where they must- Oh, okay, so it's a- it's a isekai. Uh, where they must work together to battle for their lives. Yotsuya is a lone wolf and has always lived his life according to his wants. But how will that work out now that he's supposed to be a hero? Get ready for a one-of-a-kind fantasy story that will challenge everything you thought you knew about fantasy. Well, that is a slogan and a half right there. It will challenge everything I know about fantasy. I don't know why, but the, I mean, the art style look, I mean, not the art style, sorry. The poster looks kind of cool. I don't know. He looks like he looks depressed right here. I mean, there's this giant dude with no eyes and a big ass hand. Yeah, I guess uh, I'll check it out. And this one also looked interesting to me as well because this is has production IG with it. Um, so this story, let's see, Yuko, Yukoku no Moriarty, the story's protagonist is James Moriarty, okay, this definitely looks like some, some Bacchano, Black Butler type beat right now, hold on, the famous antagonist, ooh, from Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes, oh, shit, oh, that sounds, that sounds actually kind of interesting, man, once again, I love, I love when stuff is, once again, we're in England, obviously, He's an orphan who assumes the name William James Moriarty when he and his younger brother are adopted into Moriarty family. As a young man, he seeks to remove the ills caused by England's strict class system. Okay, so this that, this dude's probably going to be the husbando. Uh, I know a lot of people are probably going to like him. Uh, he, he's kind of sexy, I'm not going to lie, dude. I mean, no homo, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm interested, man. I'll, I'll probably check this out as well. I'll probably check this out. Definitely, for sure. But yeah, guys, uh, that's probably going to be it for all the anime that I'm going to be checking out for the fall of 2020, at least at first. Obviously, you know, I was just highlighting some of the stuff that interested me or stuff that I know for sure that I'm going to watch and, you know, everything like that. So obviously, you know, if I didn't talk about a certain show, that doesn't mean that I ignored it or like I'm not going to watch it or anything. It's just just, you know, just the stuff that, you know, peeks out, you know, at me, you know, peaks my interest a little bit. So and, you know, everything else is basically like an O&A or like a short or like some movies or like continuation of other anime that i haven't watched yet so definitely dude solid dude i feel like the fall anime solid especially if um attack on titan comes out as well which praying to god i'm pretty sure there's a bunch of people out there praying with me i'm praying to god that you know attack on titan you know hopefully at least we get some news i mean they said they're gonna drop some news this month but yeah guys you know uh jujutsu kaisen though uh for the people wondering about the reactions is probably gonna be the only one that i'm going to be reacting to uh for sure uh, this season everything else though I most likely will be watching on my own time but you know I still might make videos on them like Noblesse or Higurashi or anything like that man definitely I still might make videos on other stuff but yeah definitely for sure Jujutsu Kaisen I'm gonna react to and yeah I'm excited to see you yeah, know Noblesse and everything um I'm curious dude I feel like 
fall anime 2020? It's solid, man. So yeah, guys, make sure to leave down in the comments below. What are you guys going to watch, man? What are you guys interested in? What should I check out that, you know, maybe I didn't talk about? You know, I'm always open to stuff, dude. I'm always open to talk about discussing everything, man. I love y'all. Thank you so much for all the love and support recently. It's been crazy, by the way. You know, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already because we're close to 50,000 subscribers. I love y'all so much. And, you know, by the way, uh, if you guys enjoy me just talking about you know seasonal anime like this like i said i know a lot of people do this type of thing but you know if you guys you know want to hear my opinion on this i would love to make this a, a seasonal video that i do you know i easily can just just do that man you know this video i, I love doing it i love just you know talking here chilling with y'all and you talk about some anime so yeah guys let me guys let me know in the comments down below jesus i can't even talk anymore but yeah guys that's gonna be it for the video i love y'all it's been your boy every you know are we good we good you know we, we good all right peace out love y'all